is unbeatable. Hi there, I'm Buda and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. If you have watched last week's episode, you know I'm doing a series of uh, exp explanations and going deep, diving deep into how I play the Buddha Power Blues uh, live uh, performances of Back to Roots. So Buddha Power Blues is my blues trio. Uh, it's the band I'm, I'm, I'm playing for the longest, for the longest. Uh, we're, we're 14 years old now and we just released our seventh record called Back to Roots. We don't do uh, video clips so we decided we, we always do live performances of the the album takes so they are different versions because they don't have overdubs it's the three of us playing all together at the same time and me singing and the three of us singing uh, although we record everything live in the record this is just one take so if someone makes a mistake that's it uh, and I decided to explain to you the sounds and the tones I get uh, from, from the recordings and what did I use and how I use it and explain to you the parts uh, so you can dive deep into, into songs. A lot of people have asked me to do it, to explain how I use it, so here it is. I hope you enjoy it, I hope you like it. Uh, as usual, I'm using uh, the Lone Star, the Mesa Boogie Lone Star and the Black Magic the Supra Black Magic. Although in the live performance I used two uh, Supra amps, the Tremor Verb and the Thunderbolt. But for a matter of convenience, because they are my road amps, they are for shows, they are in a different place, they are not here in the studio. Uh, and I'm using the amps pretty clean and I'm really loving, I'm thinking of even putting the Lone Star back again on, on the road because this amp is incredible. So I'm using the clean channel of the amp and I'll let you hear just the Lone Star on itself. And just the Supro on itself. Both together. Great combination. For this song, King of the Games Room, it is a two-part song with a different solo. So if you watched last week's episode, excuse me for repeating myself, but I have to do it for, for those that haven't watched it sequentially. So I use the Boss ES8 as my main controller. Uh, and I have it preset uh, in this way. I have a bank for each song. So King of the Games Room, it is bank 36. Okay, And I have my intro uh, tone, my chorus tone, and my lead tone. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so for the intro tone, it is a riff based... This is our take on, on Manish Boy. So Manish Boy is... Okay. This is our take. I wanted to, to do something like it, but not the same. So I'm playing on the bridge and middle. And for effects, I'm using the Line 6 M5 for reverb, for more reverb. So I always use one amp with reverb and the other clean. So the Lone Star has reverb. Let me take, do it all clean. So just the Lone Star. Just a Supro. Okay, so it is... One wet, one dry, but this is not fully wet. It's, it is just with a little reverb. And then I kick in the spring reverb from the M5 to give it a stereo reverb. And I believe I kick in the broadcast, which is my 
rhythm pedal, my rhythm drive pedal. <laughs> goes on so it is a mo moderately simple riff I play it I play the G and I press both the G string and the B string and then I press the E and the B string fourth fret then I go back so the riff is the same, just the ending note is different. Okay? And then for the turnaround we do the just octave. And that's it. That's the riff. Sometime I fill it up with that's it simple um, and that's it and for the the chorus I take off the broadcast I turn on the SP compressor and I leave the reverb so I have a cleaner tone, like a Robert Crayish funkier thing, because the chorus is very funky. Slowly, 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 I play it like. I'm playing here. So I'm playing the fourth, the fourth degree of, so we're changing. This is a blues in G. Okay. So we're going to the, the four, but I'm playing it the James Brownish way. So it is a C seven, nine. I'm playing this voicing. It's the sex machine voice. I'm doing the... And I'm going back to the one. And 
I'm doing it the Andrix way, so... Playing with my thumb, okay? Then I do the five. Same voicing as the fifth, as the four, sorry. There it, it, it comes, the interesting part. Instead of going... We're doing the five. And going to the flat third. Okay? But instead of playing it with this voicing, I'm playing it with a little tasty uh, sus. So I'm doing it with the 9 and the, the 11. This is a chord that Jimi Hendrix used a lot uh, for, on, from Angel, for example. Because it is a suspended chord. So you have the the one, the root note, flat B flat. Then you have the flat seven. You have the nine, and you have the eleven, and the the octave. But this is actually this. And when we turn around to the chorus again, it is great the same way. And when we turn around to the riff, it is the same thing. sounding killer then for the lead tone I'm not sure because I programmed it a long time but I, I can guess that I turn on the gen ray instead of the the broadcast let me check and that's correct because it's what I do usually my gen ray is set for a drive tone so hear it with the Hudson <laughs> And with a genre. And if I need more, I have my Bino booster, my treble booster, uh, boosting the highs. So this is with a genre. <laughs> that wah tone is as if, as if I push the wah into the highs um, so in the solo I solo over the chorus harmony and I jam on top of it uh, until Excuse me, it's not the, the chorus harmonies. Yeah, it's this harmony, so the four and the one, the four and the one. Uh, 
Um, and then I, I punch in Carl and I look at him in the nose. I give him, I give him the looks, and we change. We go up to flat, B flat, and I change to the neck pickup on that part, so I can get the Stevie Ray. And then we go to C. Then Nico goes back to the break, and we go again to uh, the riff. Okay, then another chorus, and then we have the ending, which is uh, eight riffs. What just happened? Yes, I turned on the broadcast second channel, and that's it for the ending. A fuzzy kind of, of thing, and we do the riff. It's super simple. Chromatic descent. Well, that's it. I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope you liked the show. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know it's super important. And if you want to go and subscribe to the Power Blues YouTube channel too, follow the band, have fun, listen to music. We are on Spotify too. We have records for sale if you want it. Be my guest. <laughs> We'll see each other next week. Bye bye. He was a beat of old. The king, greatest player I've ever seen. Let nobody, nobody win at the top of his game. Man, he was a king. He got the king's room. King of the king's room. King of the king's room was the best I've ever seen. To us all A role model For us to follow the kind of man I wish I could be At the top of his game Man, he was the king King of the game's room King of the game's room King of the game's room Was the best I've ever seen
reactions Tiny thing Worst thing Recollections In the model I like to be At the top of his game Man, he was a kid 